What's up everyone, this is Adam with TAT Express and in this video I'm going to discuss coolant going into the fuel system. I'm going to let you know what happened and I'm also going to let you know what we did to pinpoint the problem. This is an educational video so if you like this type of content be sure to hit that like, subscribe and turn on notifications so you're notified when we go live or when we release a new video. If you'd like to schedule an appointment you can call us at 972-225-3017. We are located at 4140 Langdon Road, Dallas, Texas 7 TAT Express is also hiring, so if you're interested in joining our team, visit our careers page. Let's get right into this video. So what can happen when coolant gets into your fuel? A lot of things can happen. Fuel is being used to lubricate your fuel pump and injectors. So whenever coolant is mixed with fuel, it is just not a good, it's not a good combination. Fuel actually doesn't mix with coolant. It's always separate, but just as when coolant goes into your oil, it overheats components like bearings. It does the same thing with a fuel pump or an injector. So you can have a failed injector or a failed fuel pump if you run this for a long period of time. Now, how do you find out this is happening? The easy way to find out is whenever you drain this filter housing, your secondary filter housing, you can see if coolant is in your fuel. And I'm gonna give you a closer look here, but you could probably see here a little bit is you can see the red at the bottom of this fuel. Now, coolant does not mix with fuel, as I mentioned. It says at the bottom, neither does water. It doesn't mix with fuel, so it's, very, it's a very easy indicator whenever you see this happening. Now, what can you do to figure out what's going on? One note that I'd like to mention before we move on is sometimes if DEF gets mixed with your fuel, you can have this same kind of indicator, but it's gonna be more of a rusty look. It's not gonna be as red uh, as it is here. As you can see, the coolant is very red, so you can see this is very red. And the reason why that happened is you do have coolant going into your DEF to warm up the DEF to ensure it doesn't crystallize and dry up. So that's another indicator you wanna look out for but since we know this is coolant the next step that we have to do is actually we're going to have to take the valve cover off take the rockers off remove the injectors and you're going to want to replace the hold down the injector the injector hold down and the bolt you want to replace those because there's a coolant cap that's on the top of of the head of each injector and if you don't do that then what's going to happen is when we pressurize this system to verify where which cup is leaking because mostly it's all all that's going to be is the injector cups but we want to go ahead and verify it so before before we drain the cooling system, we're gonna pressurize it, remove the injectors, as I mentioned, put the hold down bolts back on to ensure we don't damage the head while we pressurize the system. And that's gonna give us an indication which injector cup is leaking. A lot of times it's gonna be injector cups. So the, the reason why these injector cups leak is because you have O-rings that go on the bottom of each cup. Those are the actual seals that fell. And the reason why there's coolant going into the injector cup is to keep that tip cool whenever during operation. So coolant's always surrounding the tip of the injector, but there's a cup sitting in the head that's actually sur and that's surrounded by coolant. So that coolant is supposed to keep that tip of the injector cool during operations. So what happens is when that seal actually fails, then of course you're going to have fuel going into the coolant or coolant going into the fuel. And this is most of the, this is a pretty common problem that happens with a lot of engines. You have it happen with the Volvo engine, the DD platforms, and also the Cummins. So it's a design that all diesel engines have. They have injector cups that cool the tip of the injector. And of course the seals fail over time. And that's what causes coolant to go into your fuel. Now, once this problem is actually fixed, we replace the fuel filters. And if you do have a lot of contamination, cross contamination, a lot of coolant in your fuel, and you see it in your tanks the best way to remove that is just wait until that coolant has settled just how it how it settles here and you're going to use a pump to pump out that fuel or pump out that coolant at the bottom of that tank until you see nothing but fuel coming out and that's going to be the easiest way to get rid of that coolant out of your out of your fuel tanks because a lot of people will try to drain it and it's just these tanks are not really designed to remove and and clean out very easily there's there's very small openings one at the bottom and where, one where you refill the the tank and they're just not really that easy to 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 clean and and remove and replace so that's going to be the best way to uh to remove the coolant from the from the fuel system so we have an injector cup here and as i mentioned these uh, are all of them are replaceable some of them are, are going to be wedged in there like a volvo they're actually wedged in there this one has threads at the end now the design is that coolant this one screws into the head coolant is surrounding the injector cup when the injector sits in there it's actually supposed 
to keep the injector tip cool to prevent any premature ignition and just keep everything nice and, and working functionally. Now this O-ring is what sits inside the bore of the injector cup where the in, inside the head. So then whenever you install your injector, it's supposed to seal it. When you install the, install the injector cup, it's supposed to seal. But as you can see, just like any other seals, they get old, they get brittle. So this one here, as you can see, there's pieces missing on this particular seal and that's what caused the leak to happen. So anytime you have an in, one injector cup showing leaking, it's good to replace all six of them because you don't want another injector cup to fail after you got everything back together. Thank you for watching. I hope this information was useful. If you like this type of content, be sure to hit that like, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you're notified when we go live or when we release a new video. If you like to schedule an appointment, you can call us at 972-225-3017. We are located at 4140 Langdon Road, Dallas, Texas, 75241. TAT Express is also hiring, so if you'd like to join our team, be sure to visit our careers page. Everyone, until next time, be safe. Catch me howling at the moon